Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry at Fantastic Caverns in Springfield, Missouri. And ever since I heard of Fantastic Caverns, I wanted to come here and see just how fantastic it is. I've only done a few cave videos on my channel because it's kind of hard to get good video in a dark cave and they tend to look pretty much the same, kind of boring. But this one attracted me because it has an unusual way of getting in and out of the cave. At most caverns, you have to walk down a steep slope, and then to get back out, you walk back up a steep slope. I've only been to one, I think, that actually has an elevator. So it tends to be a lot of work on the knees. <laughs> this one, you go in and out of the cavern by the way of a Jeep that is pulling people in a trailer. So that's what, as far as I know so far, makes this place unique. So let's go into the tour and see if it does look different than the other caverns that I've been to. There's the office. I think this is going to be a bumpy ride though. Look at that little camper. The of the steam engine back then was to produce power to bring electricity inside of the cavern. That was important because uh, most of the state of Missouri did not have electricity during that time, but we certainly did here at Fantastic Cavern. We've got a lot of these trailers. And there's the door. <laughs> Look, there's lights, Amy. Ooh. Formations are right at the beginning here. Emmy. Camera. Take a picture. This is a fairly wide entrance. I was really surprised that the K rock formations start pretty much at the outside ground level. That's what was looking gray earlier on that column. Fantastic system. This is one of the most open sinkholes 
in the whole fantastic cavern system. It's so open, in fact, the walnuts that weren't sitting here, they go all the way through the cave. I could do without all the drips, I think, but that's the way the water gets in. And of course, that's uh, not only does the water get in that way, that's the way food gets in for the cave animals and contaminants get in too. I believe yeah. the peeps get in some way other than that though. because limestone can be dissolved by water. This piece of limestone weighs about a pound. There is this much limestone dissolved in every thousand gallons of water discharging from the spring today. You can imagine the enormous volumes of water in a long period of time required to form the cave. Basically, a cave is a drain spring system. Since caves are part of spring systems, storms can flood them and make them dangerous. This isn't your normal Ozark float trip. The fish, the crayfish, and most of the other cave animals are tiny, white, and blind. Although they spend their entire lives in the cave, they depend on the surface for their food. When contaminants come in from the surface, they threaten the life here. With cave systems, whatever goes down comes up. Pollution threatens all life. By studying groundwater and by working to protect its quality, we can protect the beauty of the cave and preserve our quality of life. We are at our turnaround point of our tour today. And just as a point of reference, we are now approximately 125 feet below the ground surface. There's a big pool. The cave is, as you can tell, very large, big rooms. The ceiling, soda straws. Now right up here on the right are the names of those first 12 explorers here in the Fantastic Caverns. Those are the original explorers. <laughs> Their names. See the stage here? They used to have bands come in and play. Because this is a huge room, and he said Buck Owens and the Buccaneers used to play here. Now, when it did collapse, it collapsed on three different occasions. The first collapse took a place from this area right at the near of the ceiling area. The second time of collapse is shown to us here, and then the third time the ceiling came in, uh, we see it from this section right into here. Exiting. Oh, it is really low ceiling here. That is the original entrance of Fantastic Caverns. And uh, those ladies, when they first entered, there's the door that the Jeep and the trader goes through. There's another tour group going in, and you get a close-up look at this little car, whatever you call that, and the little 
camper. Isn't that cute? Matching colors. That's what the Jeep looks like. And the trailer. And he told me that the Jeep engine runs on propane, which is the cleanest burning fuel. So I asked him about the exhaust having an effect on the cave, and he said it essentially doesn't. Well, that was interesting. They have some displays inside here as well. And they took this photo just after we got into the cave. And there's me sitting in the very rear of the trailer. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Good day. Thank you.